what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hey guys, welcome to CJ Vlogs. Last year, almost around this time, a Canadian vlogger, a big YouTuber revealed OnePlus 5T before the official launch. Nowadays, companies provide handsets to YouTubers in advance so that they can make the videos and post them on the launch day to create more hype about the device and increase the sales numbers. But most of the times, these devices are provided under non-disclosure agreement and there is a certain embargo. Nobody can divulge details about the device given a particular date or condition. Most of the times, the condition is that details cannot be divulged before the launch date. Now, that YouTuber might have escaped legal complications or sanctions from the brand because he's a big branded YouTuber. But I am not. I've just got less than 2000 subscribers so when I say I've got camera samples of a new and upcoming device you should just guess which device it is and to make it easy and simpler for you I'm going to compare camera samples shot from OnePlus 5T with the brand new device that I'm not supposed to talk about right now I'm just doing this to make it easier for you to choose whether there is enough of improvement with the brand new device that is about to launch with Snapdragon 845 and dual rear cameras to justify the premium price that you are about to pay to own that device. So without further ado, let's start and see the samples. Watch the video closely. Flagship cameras nowadays are equally good in bright lighting conditions. The scene is filled with lots of details, the color accuracy is on point and they all perform good and have better dynamic range. But what truly sets apart flagship cameras nowadays is how they perform in low lighting conditions. So let's see how this new device performs as compared to its predecessor in low lighting conditions. Straight away in scene 1, we can see that the new device captures the scene very brightly while maintaining very low amount of noise in dark shadows. In the second scene, we can clearly see a range of different exposures in low lighting conditions. This scene is particularly tricky and the new device just outperforms the OnePlus 5T. In the third scene, let's see the text on the motorcycle. It's way sharper and crisper on the new device. In this scene, look at the foliage behind the pet and the pet itself. It's way much sharper in the new device as compared to OnePlus 5T. Also an area of great improvement is the dynamic range at night. The OnePlus 5T is no slouch when it comes to clicking pictures at night but the new device has just awesome dynamic range and it feels like HDR option is on by default but it is not. It's just a single exposure. This is quite interesting. In this new scene, you can clearly see the difference in details. Look at the tiles below the car and behind the car. Lots of details are present in the new device as compared to OnePlus 5T. The exposure is also overall good and the color accuracy is well maintained in the new device as compared to OnePlus 5T. And the same equally holds true for the shots taken in daytime with contrast between the dark and the light areas. There is very less noise in the shadows while details are very brilliantly preserved. Even in artificial lighting conditions like a bar or a restaurant, the new device performs better than the OnePlus 5T. Look at the text on the bottle and the bottle itself. Both are way sharper on the new device. To conclude, the new device seems to be a very good performer in low light, but I still have to compare this device with iPhone 10 and Pixel 2 XL. So if you like this video, do like it and share it with all your friends and subscribe to watch more videos like this. This is CJ Vlogs signing out.